welcome to my channel. I appreciate you joining me. Today's video is going to be a quick thrift flip. Um, these are pieces that I actually got some time ago and I'm going to sort of batch paint them, but each piece is a little bit different. So I hope you enjoy the process. I'm going to start off with this urn. I love all the textures that it has with the mother of pearl shells on the side and the sort of divots near the bottom. This is going to be really pretty all painted up. I'm super excited about it. Farm Fresh is one of my favorites and you can tell I paid $5.99 for it. Uh, I'm going to list this for probably around $22, $23, somewhere in that ballpark. Of course, I'll be sure to take the price tag and the other tags off the bottom. These typically sell really fast for us. Whenever I'm thrifting and I'm thinking I'm going to paint something, I try to look for items that have a lot of texture. I know that this is going to bring more interest to the finished piece. things that I love about using DIY paint is that it's all natural and it paints over glass just as well as it does ceramic or any other object. Just remember that the first coat is really going to be a tack coat which means it's not going to have the same opacity as other coats. It's, you're going to be able to see through it. It's not going to look like it has very good coverage but in the end you're going to have great coverage. If you struggle with glass or anything slick then remember you can always use a primer or a slick stick. Trying to feel a bit better. Don't know what you want with me. All the silence just kills me. Cause I don't know if you feel what you say. I can't tell when you're looking away. All I need is an answer. And I thought I'd show you just a moment with the heat gun to remind you that when you're using uh, DIY paint that it does dry much lighter than when it is wet and when you add the top coat or wax it will change the color again so this is a little bit of a freak out factor if you've never used it just trust the process and it'll be wonderful one of the things I think that you should remember when you're creating and you're working on these thrift vines is that it's okay to experiment, have fun, learn a different technique. This is a great opportunity. You haven't paid much for the original piece. This is a great opportunity to expand your base. And remember, if you don't like it, it's just paint. You can paint right back over it. So the next step is to just add some DIY white wax. The white wax is going to sink into all of the little grooves and we're gonna wipe it back. Don't do too much surface area before you wipe it back or you'll have a difficult time. Once I have white waxed all the pieces, I decided that I wanted to distress these sunflowers a little bit, and in the end, I actually really hated it. Uh, I did not like the shiny at all with the flat matte look of the white wax. When creating, sometimes things don't go exactly like you planned, and that's okay. Um, the important thing is to be able to think it out and decide to just go a different way. So in the case of the sunflower vase, I did not like what was happening. When I started waxing it, I realized it was coming off anyway. Then I didn't like the shininess of the actual pottery under the matte look of the DIY paint with the white wax. So I needed to repaint, just go right back on and sort of stipple over the white wax.
if you're happy with the end result here, you can stop with the white wax, but I wasn't. So I decided I needed to zhuzh it up a bit and I'm going with DIY's Golden Ticket. This is a metallic top coat basically, and so you do not need to put anything over it and it does stick to above the white wax, even though technically you are not supposed to use it over the wax. I have found it works just fine and does not come off. The Golden Ticket has a really nice sheen to it and one of my favorite things is that because it is fairly sheer, you can actually determine just how much you want. If you use a light touch or only one coat, you're going to get sort of a sheer gold and if you layer it on, the thicker it gets, the more opaque it gets and the more dense the gold. Ultimately, this gives you a lot of control over your project. love doing is mixing media. While I am using DIY paint for each of these and I'm actually using Farm Fresh and White Wax for each and every one of them, I will blend in a little bit of the dark wax and then I'm going to use Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint as sort of a dust. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself so let's go back to the part where I started adding dark wax. So on all of the pieces I have added some dark wax and then wiped it back and this is in addition to the white wax. Basically I was just feeling that the piece was super flat and I wanted to add a little dimension. I often find that by mixing the different waxes that I get the look that I'm really going for. This is a little bit of trial and error, so I just keep playing with the two waxes, the white wax and the dark wax, until I get a look that I'm really happy with. see me use DIY uh, DIY dirt and those are both fun. I wanted a little bit of color. The pieces were just feeling super flat to me. I wanted to bring them to life a little bit, have some patina without actually having to use another paint color or do blending in a traditional way. So what I did was I put a little bit of the 
most mustard seed in the drive. I put it on a little cup, then used a stencil brush and some clear wax and sort of worked them in, just like I have used dust in other videos. Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint is typically mixed with water to create a liquid paint. In this case, I'm going to use the dry form. I simply have added a little bit of wax on my brush and dipped it into the pigment. And now I'm stippling, which is sort of basically pouncing with my brush. I'm going back and forth between Berger and Look It's Green. I'm just considering the areas that I think would patina over time naturally and where I feel like I need to see a little bit more oomph. Just like when I was playing with the white wax and the dark wax and sort of layering them, I'm doing the same thing here with the powdered Miss Mustard Seed. I am just continuously bouncing back and forth until I find a look that I'm really happy with. you how they came out um were there any that you think i should have stopped maybe i went too far in my process and you're like whoa why did you do all that um sometimes i get a little crazy and i just want to keep going and going and going and going and i need to learn to edit but did you feel that on any of these pieces or let me know let me know in the comments <music> to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It really helps out. I really appreciate it when you comment on things or you share my posts, that helps a lot also. And if you're interested in any of the products that I used, please check out our website, 
vintagebedesign.com, where we also have a lot of fun at cottage core, uh, French country summer fashion, which I love. Um, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. This is Dean. He's the one that you usually see interrupting me. And he is a snuggler and he always wants to be around. Clearly, not when I'm on camera. Say hi, Dean. Nope. Okay, he's done.